So if you haven't heard, Blender version 4.0 was just officially released a few days ago. And this new version comes with quite a few new updates and some new features, but the thing that I'm most excited about is the updates to the procedural Voronoi and procedural noise textures. So on the procedural Voronoi noise textures, they've added some new slider values. And I'm really excited about these updates because as you may know, I do create lots of procedural materials with Blender. So just to show you the new updates, I have this color ramp here and I'm just going to plug it up to the base color so we can preview the Voronoi texture. So the Voronoi has three new values. So it has this cool detail value and to be able to see this a little bit better I'm going to drag this color ramp value over just so it's more contrasty. So there's this awesome detail value so now we can add lots of detail to the Voronoi and then there's roughness so similar to the noise texture there is roughness as well and then there's also this lucanarity. So if you turn up the lucanarity you can see there's going to be a bunch of little dots. It's kind of going to break up the texture and so this will really help for creating lots more procedural textures or if you turn the lucanarity to zero then it's just going to be those little blobby dots and if you want to use the detail and roughness values then you should turn up the lucanarity a little bit so the default is two and then let's take the color ramp here plug this up to the base color so i'll preview the noise texture so of course the noise texture already has the scale and the detail and the roughness but the noise texture also has the lucanarity so i can turn this up and you can see it's going to add all those little dots there. So this will be super useful for creating procedural textures. And then of course it also has that distortion. And you can also see on this page here on the Blender Wiki, they have some updates for these new slider values on the Voronoi and the noise texture. So I'll have a link to this page on the Blender Wiki. You can check that out with the link in the description. And if you'd like to check out all of the new features of Blender 4.0, then you can check out this awesome page here on Blender's website. Again, I'll have a link to this in the description. And if you'd like to learn how to create procedural materials in Blender, then I have a large tutorial playlist where I show you how to create many procedural materials. So you can check that out with the link in the description. And if you'd like to purchase all of my materials, then definitely check out my ultimate Blender procedural material pack. And my ultimate material pack comes with all of my procedural materials, and they're all pre-set up for Blender's asset browser with custom thumbnails, sorted catalogs, and customizable node groups. And purchasing the material pack is a great way to help support this channel. But I hope you enjoyed this, and thanks for watching.